All right, now tonight we get a full course of a host of games, both jamborees and regular games. And guess what, Charity? Kayla Carlisle, she is so lucky, man. Yeah, I'm actually kind of jealous. She got a chance to see two rating state champions go head to head tonight. She joins us now from the Shoals with more, Kayla. Yeah, guys, I, I was pretty lucky, although the lights are turned off, so I don't know how lucky you consider me now. But with that being said, uh, like you said, the reigning state champs 1A for Mars Hill took on the reigning 2A state champs Fife. Uh, and like you said, this is a jamboree, so let's go ahead and check out how the Red Devils stacked up against the Panthers in tonight's big matchup. Early on, the Panthers would win the ball ultimately. And Walker White, well, he says he wants to do something with it. He launches a 60-yarder downfield to Hunter Kilpatrick for Panthers. First down, looking good early on. Mars Hill now first in goal, and they go for the switcheroo. Two handoffs later, and Justice McDaniel has the ball. He walks it right into the end zone for the score, and Panthers get on the board first, 7 nothing. But Fife would have an answer. Remember freshman Zach Pyron? Well, he's back and still scoring touchdowns. This time he hands it off and it finds its way to the end zone to tie up this ball game at seven apiece. And it looks like the Panthers just couldn't hold off those Red Devils this time. They take the L in tonight's Jamboree with a final score of 21 to 13. Over to Brawley Stadium now where the Florence Falcons hosted Brentwood Academy. We're taking you to the second quarter. Brentwood with the ball. Taylor Montiel hands it off to Jordan James, and James slides by the Falcons' defense and gets to the end zone to give the Eagles some edge. They go up 22 to 14. But then trouble strikes the Falcons. Zane Gilbert, he takes the snap, goes for the pass, but it's picked off by the Eagles. Amir Nord makes a good run, and now it's the Eagles' ball once again. But the Eagles think they're feeling the momentum now. Third down, Wade Williams goes for the touchdown pass, but it's denied by Falcons' Dean Moore. That's a no-go, and that means we're going into fourth down, which means the Eagles set up for a field goal. Kicker in position. He goes for the kick, and it's good. Eagles go up 25-14. to 14. would actually take the win with that game. Here's a look at your final score for that. And also just a reminder that Mars Hill 5 game was our varsity game of the week, which is brought to you by Zaxby's. We'll be having that every Friday night, so make sure to look out for that. But let's go ahead and check out the matchups for these teams next week. It looks like the Falcons will be hosting Buckhorn at Brawley Stadium again next week, while Mars Hill and Fife both hit the road as the Panthers take on Sheffield and the Red Devils take on Geraldine. We're reporting live in Florence, I'm Kayla Carlisle. Guys, back to you.